Hey guys, I'm Lisa from the Chocolate Carousel. I have my guest with me today, our pastry chef, Lauren. Welcome, Hello. Lauren. Um, Lauren, tell everybody a little bit about yourself. Um, I graduated two years ago from Johnson & Wales University with my associates in baking and pastry. Awesome. And then I came to join the team here at the Chocolate Carousel. And so tell me, Lauren, in front of all these people on Facebook, how's it going for you here at the Chocolate Carousel? I absolutely love it. I learned everything I know from them. They taught me basically everything. It's oh, the best see? experience. Okay, I'll give you the money later. Good job. <laughs> That's what I told her to say. So anyway, Lauren is amazing. She's been with us for the last two years. She does a lot of our chocolate work here and also the cake pops. She's also a cake decorator, baker. She's very versatile and I love having her on my team. So we're gonna do a couple different things for you today. We're going, we're really kicking off our whole Easter series, which is gonna be the next four weeks leading up to Easter. I'm gonna have sort of a springtime Easter vibe going on for you. <laughs> if only the weather would cooperate, right? Exactly. Um, so we're gonna do two different things today. We're gonna to make malted Easter egg ice cream, which is just a really simple three ingredient recipe. And because it's so simple and quick, I wanted Lauren to join us today and show you how the technique for making a hollow Easter bunny. Because it's a question we get all the time. People come in and they're always asking me, how do you make it hollow? Exactly. You know, yeah, you can easily think about how you can make it solid, but how do you make it hollow? So Lauren will go over that with you a little bit and show you how it's done. So why don't you start with the bunny, Lauren? We're making dark today. Yes, dark chocolate is my favorite bunny. But this is our Henry bunny. It's our most popular bunny during the Easter season. We have plenty of other molds, but this one is by far our yeah, most popular one. He's the most popular. One. He's a sitting bunny, and his name is Henry. Um, and Lauren brought that up, so I'll just tell you a little tidbit <laughs> about that. All of our Easter bunnies have a name. It's just part of the fun that we like to have around here at Easter time. And so we have a bunch of our like, you know, staple bunnies like Henry that have their name, and then. After you've worked for Chocolate Carousel through two Easters, you get a bunny named for you. So it's a big thing. Lauren is getting her bunny this year. She doesn't know <laughs> what it's going to look like yet. <laughs> I don't. It's exciting. So we're going to be unveiling Lauren's bunny. Probably before the end of this uh, Easter segment of live, you will see a Lauren bunny on live. <laughs> Lauren bunny. So, I'm so excited yeah. to see what it looks like. <laughs> okay. So first, um, you're going to melt your chocolate. And then with this mold, you're going to just scoop a ladle. And you're going to... Fill the mold up. It probably takes two ladlefuls. Because this guy's going to be hollow, we're only filling up one side. The other side is going to stay empty. Exactly. So when you get it full, I like to tap it out a little bit. Why do you tap? What's the tapping do? To get the air bubbles out so there's no like holes in your bunny. Then I'm going to put the other half on, and then we're going to use these paper clips to hold these clothes. You want it closed and nice and tight so no chocolate comes out of the sides when we start turning it to get the other side with chocolate. So these clips you could just get in staples. You can get them yeah. anywhere. They're just regular bull nose clips and, and they work perfect for this. And once you have it, you're gonna get all the sides. So it's nice and covered. And if you can see, you see how shiny it is? That's how you know you got your chocolate at the right temperature. You want your chocolate to be warm and um, heated up to the right temperature and smooth so you get a nice sheen on it. And then we give it a little shake. And then we're gonna place it in the fridge on one side. We keep it in there for two minutes. And then after every two minutes, you're gonna flip it over and then do that again. It so it's a constant flipping until it dries. Two minutes so we do flipping. everything by hand here, which is pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, I don't think a lot of places do that anymore. A lot of spots are automated. All of our bunnies are made by hand. We make a ton of them, and they're all made with love. It's part of the reason why we name them, because they've become <laughs> part of the family a little bit. <laughs> we've made plenty of these already, and we're going to keep making more. So I'm going to place this in right, the fridge. Right, place that in the fridge. We'll let that harden. While that's getting ready, I'm going to show you how we do the ice cream. So come over here. So this is a super, super easy recipe. Um, it starts with two 14 ounce cans of sweetened condensed milk. And you know, interestingly, with condensed milk, there's also evaporated milk, and they look almost exactly the same when they're in the grocery store. And I find people always ask me, like, what's the difference between condensed milk and evaporated milk? And they get confused in which to use in a recipe. So I did a little bit of research so I could share it with you. The, con the, the way that the milk, both condensed and evaporated, are made, they, they heat milk until 60% of it evaporates. So it's really, um, 
concentrated. And then to the, uh, to the condensed, the sweetened condensed, they add sugar. The evaporated milk has no sugar. So you have more uh, ability to sweeten that one to your liking. This comes already sweetened. And it's almost caramelized because when they cook the milk down, it gets sort of a caramely color on it. So you can see that. So I'm gonna open both of these up and get them ready to go. And then into my mixing bowl, I'm gonna put three cups of heavy cream. All this recipe has in it is heavy cream, condensed milk, and whatever flavoring you want. It's super, super easy, and it's, I'm gonna to dare to say, delicious. So I'm getting the three cups of cream into my mixing bowl, and I'm gonna turn that on and just let it go. I wanna whip that until stiff peaks form. So I'm gonna let that go. Turn it up and let it go. And while that's happening, I'm going to chop up some malted uh, Easter eggs. These are delicious. They're like whoppers, you know. Um, you can use any other candy you want. It doesn't have to be these. But I think these are great. And I'm just going to smush them. This is kind of fun, by the way. Get a little bit of your frustrations out here. Smush them up. muscle in there. I like using these too because they're colorful and they have like all these springy pastel colors so it looks really pretty on the ice cream. Don't let them run away on you because they're round so they want to go rolling away. You got to stay in control. Spin this around a little bit. Get these guys. We're gonna smush them all up and we're gonna use these in our ice cream. Keeping an eye on my whipped cream, it's almost there. I'm not adding any sugar to this because I have the sweet and condensed milk that has the sugar in it. You can see the peaks are forming. Almost done. Alright. I right, got these guys chopped up. I mean, who's ready for spring? I am totally ready for spring. All right, see how I got nice stiff whipped cream here? That's what you're looking for. All right. Now, watch how easy this is. You put your whipped cream into a bowl. Just need a little bigger bowl than the mixing bowl, so I just like to transfer it into something you can work with a little bit easier. Add two cans of condensed milk and I just do one at a time because you want to just fold it into the cream you don't really want to deflate the air that you put into that whipped cream so you want to be really gentle with it and just fold it in to combine it Mmm, smells really good too. All right, so you got one in, I'm gonna get the other one in. Now at this point, it's just plain. So you could flavor this any way you wanted to. You could add chocolate chips, you could add M&Ms, you could do something minty if you wanted to, some, or just some chocolate syrup. Really could do whatever you want. We're making it malted. All right, so you got that all together. It, may, it looks a little bit lumpy, but it's really not. You go in there and just smush those lumps down. It's just air, so don't worry about that. All right, and to this, I'm going to add about two thirds of these. 
I'm gonna leave a little bit aside to garnish the top. So mix that all in, and then it just goes into a pan. I like a metal pan because it's nice and cold. It really holds in the, the cold. All right, you need to do this ahead of time because you want this to freeze overnight. Or at least give it a good eight hours. All right, so that's all there is to the ice cream. I'm gonna pop it in the freezer. Oh, also I'm gonna top it. I forgot about that part. Let's go back. Just top it a little bit. It gives it a pretty garnish on top and a little bit of color. Now into the freezer, about eight hours later, you got some ice cream. So you wanna do this the day before, let it go overnight. I'm gonna show you what it looks like in a little bit. Lauren, grab your bunny out and let's show them how to decorate. Okay, so you'll know when the bunny's done, when it's separated from the mold. You'll see a nice, it's not attached, it looks kind of a clear coating on top. That's when you know it's ready. You don't want to force the bunny out because then it may some chocolate may come off it with the mold. So you're gonna just take the clips off. And then you're gonna unmold it. And you're gonna have a nice bunny. No chocolate sticking to the mold. He's beautiful. <laughs> he's all shiny. Yeah, and he's completely hollow. And the way he stays even on the inside is the turning. Mm -hmm. So turning awesome every turning. two minutes, constantly turning it so the chocolate can get to each different part of the bunny evenly. So he's not thick on one side and thin on another. And he'll stand real nice too. So why don't you show him how you decorate him. This is how we finish him off. Mm -hmm. Henry's one of our faves. Yes. So we gotta make him cute. <laughs> so I gotta take a camera. Yeah, ready for the ladies. <laughs> And you're gonna do his ear. So I just painted. You're just using melted chocolate for that? Yes, just melted chocolate. And you're gonna, if you need more chocolate than what I just used. There you go. And do his ear. You're gonna do the same thing to the other side. But while you have it on the side, you could also do his eye. We have different color eyes. We do all the bunnies differently. But this one we're gonna do yellow. And so that's one side. So we're gonna flip it over. Do the other side. It's amazing how they start to come to life with a little bit of uh, decor, especially the eyes. The eyes bring mm -hmm. them right to life. Oh, so. he's so cute. You're going to have a little extra sprinkles, but... And then... Be prepared for some sprinkles around. Uh -huh. Then you're going to do the tie. Or little bow, whatever you want to call it. And you just use chocolate to attach. Chocolate on chocolate is glue. Yeah, I think you need me to a little bit more. A little bit more? A whole bit. It's cold in here, so it mm -hmm. dries real fast. <laughs> and the bunny just came out of the, the fridge, too. And there you go. There he is, guys. Check out Henry. This is our most popular bunny. That's Henry. <laughs> Come in and check him out. We already have, we have some tons. out in the store. Tons Milk, white, and dark. We make solid chocolate, too. We make lots of different styles and all kinds of novelty candies. So you gotta come in and check out our bunnies. Every one is made with love, all hand done. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna move Henry out of the way because I wanna show you guys this ice cream. By the way, I'm an ice cream girl. And if you know us from the old days, we used to make ice cream at Chocolate Carousel way back when. We still do ice cream cakes. So think about us for your ice cream cake needs. All right, check out this ice cream. Look at it. So it's 
it's nice and frozen. It's got chunks of the um, malted egg in there. Really creamy vanilla. It's delicious. I got the cutest little cone. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Hold on, I'm trying to run away from me. I got the cutest little cones to show you. Um, these are teeny little cake cones. And if you play your cards right, Russ, I might give you a scoop. Oh look at these, look at these little ice cream cones. Is it the cutest thing you ever saw? I just did love with them. <laughs> and then I also brought a little bit of sprinkle. Cause what's ice cream without sprinkles? Check her out. So this is our three ingredient malted Easter egg ice cream. And I topped it on a cone there. You can do it in a dish too, however you like it. Lauren, here you go. I'm gonna make Russ another one, but he's gotta hold the camera right now, so he's gotta wait. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me on live today. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you for I having me. I love having you as my guest. I have her as my guest in my kitchen every day, but this is really fun. Um, definitely come in and check out our Easter stuff, guys. Um, we have some great things coming up. Our challenge next week, go online and sign up for it, our competitive cake challenge. You do not have to be a decorator to do this. It's super fun. Super fun. Come with a group of four, right? It's so fun. <laughs> Come with a group of four, it's compete great. against other groups. It's set up kind of like a chopped kind of challenge. You'll get all your ingredients that you need and your theme when you get here. We'll help you through it. It's really fun. So sign up on our website and come, come out and do a challenge with us. Um, check me out now uh, the next three weeks. I'll be keeping up with my Easter series We're gonna do some fun things for you. We have some fun Easter treats coming up down the line So thanks for joining us on live today guys. Have a great week. Thank you. Thanks Lauren. Thank you Have ice cream <laughs>